Hey, what's up YouTube? And welcome to the Wild's Way, where every day we feed chickens, talk to chickens, and we collect eggs from chickens. I want to thank you guys for tuning in on this nice Saturday afternoon. Got a nice skyline. Not too bad hot. Chickens, what are we doing? Uh, walking up to the coop, you can probably tell. We added some chicken wire to the front of it. Um, I got tired of looking at the landscape fabric. I thought that was kind of a makeshift fix. And it wasn't even a fix, really. Because our babies kept escaping. And I know I said I wasn't going to put no chicken wire up. Because it's only going to be for a couple more weeks until they get big enough where they don't fit through the fencing. But I'm going to tell you what. Yesterday, I bet I come out here nine times. And a little black one right there. Back here in the back. And the white one would be out here just roaming the yard out in the open. And I was so worried that a hawk or an owl or something was going to swoop down and get them. I was afraid maybe a neighborhood cat would come out from the bushes somewhere. So I stopped at Tractor Supply this morning. And I got a roll. I got, I think it's 50 feet long. It's 24 inches by 50 feet. And they had different sizes, but I got 50 feet because the front of it here, 30 feet long, I got 10 foot that way and 10 foot that way, which would be 50 feet. But I did not put it on this side over here. And I'll tell you why, uh, for two reasons. For one, you don't really see this side that much. There ain't really much for the chickens to look at. And two, I did not want to have to get back here in them sticker bushes, thorns poking me and whatnot. So I just left that right here. Um, winter time comes and all this dies out I, I do have some more of that roll i'll put it on down through here uh, now that we got this i think i might try to raise a couple more babies i know in the past i said i wouldn't uh, a lot of that just come from aggravation from i guess not from the bait well the babies but not them personally just from the learning experience part of it just learning what works and what doesn't work you're right from wrong and uh, i feel like this right here is definitely the right way so now that we got this up and i got it over here on the side too i'll show you that you're gonna follow me you're gonna show them what we got look at them all coming over here they want some food but i did put it over here and like i said uh once the weather changes gets a little colder and all them sticker bushes die out i'll run some along the bottom uh, it wasn't hard to put up. I just took some uh, metal wire, just some galvanized steel wire, kind of similar to welding wire. And I just snipped off, you know, one, two inch pieces. And I just kind of went across the top and bottom and just twisted it. I didn't want to do zip ties because I'd been out here forever. And zip ties are expensive. That little roll of wire, I got 100 feet for $3.19, also from Tractor Supply. So that worked out good too. Well, let's not stall the chickens any longer. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and feed them. Cause you know they haven't been fed in the past four hours. We're all starving. I see y'all got some grass in there. Yep. Somebody must have mowed his yard. Also hear some thunder. We might end up getting us a little bit of rain. I think we got some this morning. Uh, came outside and. Grass was wet, it was dew on everything. I hear a dirt bike. That's pretty cool. That's something you don't hear every day in my neighborhood. I like it though. Any kind of loud engine, cars, motorcycles, you name it. I'm definitely a motorhead. All right, ladies. I'm gonna sit this right here so I can reach behind me and close the gate. And we're gonna sprinkle it around just cause the babies, water babies right there. So we can't quite get into that bowl. But if I sprinkle it there, then all the adults eat it and don't give the babies a chance. So we're gonna put some in the bowl anyway. That way we steer the adults away from the pile that way the babies get a chance 
I like the grass in here. I wish I could grow grass in here, but with the cover, it never grow. I think it just looks prettier having green on the ground instead of brown. And I tell you what, I don't smell nothing. Like it had just a little bit of a chicken smell this morning because it was hot and damp from the morning dew. And then you put the grass on there, the chickens like to scratch and eat the grass. And it also helps mask the smell of the, of the chicken poo, which is pretty cool. All right, let's get some, it's Saturday. Let's see if we can get a whole scoop of them mealworms, get a bunch of them mealworms. So we like our mealworms, don't we guys? I hope so, they're expensive. This is a 10 pound bag, costs $40. We don't have any chicken treats today. We don't have any lettuce or cantaloupe or any sausage biscuit, anything good. But we do got some oats and corn and mealworms and all kinds of good stuff. We're going to put some in the bowl over here too. Who's clucking? Thelma. Are you coming out of hibernation, girl? Thelma has joined the crew. All right. Yep, I definitely hear thunder now. That's wild. But then again, this is North Carolina. Uh, in the summertime, you can have a pretty blue sky like that. It'll still start raining. Let's put this over here. And what's weird is when the sky's like that, it'll only rain for 10, 15 minutes. Just enough to make it humid and wet everything. Let's get our egg carton. I think we got room for eight eggs. Oh, I remember I was going to tell you guys now. So, I got that chicken wire I showed you guys on the bottom of the coop this morning at Tractor Supply. Well, I stopped there on my way home from Walmart. I found a sound bar right here for listening to music out here. I got it off Facebook Marketplace. I had one before and I sold it. I didn't listen to it that much and I regretted selling it so I ended up finding a guy on Facebook marketplace lives about 20 minutes from me uh, it is an LG soundbar there's the cord coming and it came with a subwoofer for 30 bucks so I thought that was really cool I tell you what I've been out here listening to some 80s rock mowing the yard all day jamming it's, it's been a good day but yeah I got that for he wanted 45 and I talked him down to 30. He said, that's as low as I'll go. But another thing is he said in the ad that they were moving and he needed to get rid of it. It needs to go. So that tells me there was room to negotiate on price. But yeah, I got that and the money I had left over, cause I don't like keeping cash in my pocket. Money I had left over, I stopped and got that chicken war out there. Uh, it was $26. For a 50 foot roll, two foot by 50 foot. Like I said, I need exactly 50. I do have some left over. So we'll do that whenever all them sticker bushes over there die. But we do have room for eight eggs right here. Hopefully, we get eight. If we get more, that's just a bonus. Alrighty, chickens. Thelma's out of the box. We're going to go do this quickly before Thelma decides to change her mind. I need to get me a putty knife to keep out here. Scrape off all the droppings. I do like that idea. I just hadn't got around to doing it yet. I should have got one tractor supply this morning. All right, guys. We're going to start here. Number one, five eggs. One of every color. I like that. Number two, there's three. Well, there's our eight eggs right there. The five and three. Uh, looks like we got two and number three. There's ten eggs. One and number four. So we got 11 eggs. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. We only got room for eight. But that's all right. We'll take it. We'll sit it down right there. Yep. Chicken, chicken, chickens. So everybody's doing good. 
Everybody's getting along. Nobody's fighting. All right, going into number one. I got a blue one on the, well, it'd be my right, be y'all's left, and green on the right. Tan. Let's see what we got here. Another tan and dark brown. Going into number two, we're going to go ahead and grab these three. Another feather. No, ma'am. The carton is now full. Eighteen beautiful eggs, just like that. All right, we're gonna slide down here, in between three and four, and I'm gonna take the two out of number three. Got them right here, and I'm gonna give the chickens the egg out of number four because I'm in a good mood. It is Saturday. All right, did drop the phone, that's okay. It happens. Look at him go. Is that good? Little babies, y'all missing out. So yeah, these are the eggs that we've gotten. We've got a full 18, we've got a full Walls dozen, and then we got two extras. So we got 20 eggs right there. 20 eggs right here from today and yesterday and then from Wednesday and Thursday I got another one of these in the cabinet and or on the counter so 18 18 in the house plus 20 38 eggs so in four days no three and a half days we've gotten 38 eggs uh, again we do have 21 adults right 21 three babies it's 24 chickens total. We've got 20 hens, 20 laying hens, let me specify. So between 20 laying females that are old enough to lay in three and a half days, we've gotten these plus the ones in the house that is just like this and full, 38 eggs, three and a half days. I'm gonna tell you what, that's putting in work. I got some happy chickens. So as long as you keep your hens happy they'll continue to keep you happy ain't that right Winston yep see yourself is that a good looking camera that's a good looking mirror I like that reflection that's what I say all the time when I walk by a mirror I say damn that's a good looking mirror I look I like that reflection on the rise anything else we need to discuss let's check our water should be pretty clean I filled it up this morning it is got a little bit of grass in it that's all right Ain't nothing like a little seaweed protein shake. Somebody has been swinging. I see dirty feet prints on our swing. Uh-oh. Ooh-hoo-hoo. So much for that pretty blue sky. Well, guys, we're going to go ahead and shut her off right here. Um, Wallsway don't want to get wet if he don't have to. We've covered our feed, we've covered our eggs, we've covered the addition, our chicken wire. So uh, I think we I think we're doing pretty good today. Uh, yeah, I uh, hear the rain coming. We're gonna go ahead and shut it off right here. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, does mean the world to me. You guys watching. Uh, hope you're having a great weekend. I hope it's not raining where you're at, unless you just want it to rain. Uh, a little bit of rain ain't gonna hurt nothing. As always, do please continue to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see y'all tomorrow for our Sunday Spotlight. Thanks. See you later.